Hello everyone from Vietnam. Well, I was performing music on the street and then I released my first EP or my first two songs, Johnny Runaway and Dance Monkey. And then within six months, I was on a world tour. So it uh, kind of took me to a, a huge place that I never, I never thought I'd ever go to. Um, like, I don't know, Germany. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. You know, unfortunately I have to take a break because of coronavirus, um, but hopefully after coronavirus I get to go back on that tour. And I think that it would be hard to find an artist that didn't have one smash single that helped them get to where they were. Um, but, I mean, if that song didn't do well, I, no one would know about me and I wouldn't be able to play shows to fans that love other songs like Never Seen the Rain or the music that I love so that song did a lot more good for me than bad and I know it's easy to say oh it's a one hit thing but without that one song I wouldn't be able to play all my other songs to anyone else and they all sing those ones back just as loud as Dance Monkey so I think the difference is between real fans and people that just like the song and that's, that's the difference. Uh, I had to come home from tour. I was meant to be overseas all year, um, traveling around. I had to come home and finish my album, which is which is a good thing. But I I think I've been home for too long now, and I'm starting to get cabin fever, which is just the same. Uh, it just means I'm getting restless. But um, it's good to know that I have now had all this time to make sure my album is what I what I want it to be and to be thankful for that. The kids are gone. I guess a, a mix between old songs and new songs. And it's is songs that I wrote before I wrote Dance Monkey that I never got to release. And then some songs I've been writing since I've been here in lockdown and those songs are a little bit more uh, I guess inspirational, a little bit bigger, a little bit more soul, um, still a bit dancey and then there's some slower songs too so I think that it's just a mixed bag. There's music that I wrote before any of this when I was busking and stuff and it's really interesting to look at those songs that I wrote before I had even released the song and, and the writing process that I went through then versus now. So there's, they're very different. Thank you so much for the support of me and my song, Dance Monkey, and uh, for me as an artist. I hope you're all staying safe over there and I will see you all very soon. Thank you.